Welcome back to Obsolete Automotive. I'm Austin, and today's video is a scientific experiment with oxalic acid. So the hubcaps on my D200 are surface rusty, and I know you can use oxalic acid, if I'm saying that right, to remove rust but not damage the paint. So got a big bag of it off Amazon, and now I'm gonna scientifically mix it with some water and then soak these hubcaps and see what the results are. My measuring device is this little bucket here, this two gallons. So I'm going to use this bucket to fill up my large container that will fit the hubcaps. And then I can determine how much acid I want to put in. Okay, I got four gallons of water in this tote. And uh, from what I've read, you want to use about a cup of the acid powder in a gallon. So I got this tool that I've made, very sophisticated piece of scientific equipment. That black line in there is a cup. So I will use this tool to put four cups of the acid into the water and if you remember from chemistry class you got to do what you ought to put the acid in the water you always put acid in water and not water in acid so I'm going to do that as you can see the acid is in a crystal kind of powder form 99.6% pure that must be good so let me use my tool here to get me four cups and four I'll seal up my bag here Now I'm going to mix up the acid. Again, using very scientific equipment here. Nice and mixed up. Now, oh, no, I got a little bit more in there. Gotta make sure that's mixed up good.
some of that might just be dirt that was in the uh, container anyways got that mixed up good now hmm, let's go with the, the nasty one so I'll go ahead and dunk that in let that kind of marinate and uh, we'll come back and see how this looks. We'll see what time it is. And I'll keep track of the time it takes to uh, remove the rust. Just two hours and this really bad one is looking nearly brand new. I'm gonna go ahead and set it back in there. Let it marinate some more. Since that one works so good, so I'll go ahead and wrap one of these and kind of swish it around and set it in there. You know, what the heck? Let's do the same thing with this one. That way it can just kind of help and kind of get worked on here. There we go. And heck, I got a little space. We'll just set this one right here. Might be fun to do like a half and half there. We'll go ahead, cover that up and come back a little bit later. After another hour or so, this is the final result. All that rust is gone. What paint was still good remains, which is silver paint and the uh, black paint. Of course, you can see that there, the flaws are still there with the dents and stuff. I did soak these in a bath of baking soda mixed with water to neutralize the acid. And when you Put the baking soda mixture or even just a baking soda in the acid you'll see it fizzing up so once these stopped fizzing i knew that the acid had been neutralized sprayed them off real good um could probably leave them like this but eventually they'll probably start rusting again so you can clear coat them or um you know some people just wax them and uh leave them the way they are but i'll probably clear coat them just to keep them protected and uh i think the results were well worth it um the uh oxalic acid really works well at getting rid of the rust and uh obviously i'd recommend it you can use it on tools or other parts this was just kind of experiment with these hubcaps that otherwise looked really crappy and now are somewhat presentable so they can go in the truck and not look too bad. Well, it's been five months to the day um, since I did the oxalic acid treatment on these hubcaps, and they've been on the truck ever since. So let's take a closer look at them, see how they held up. As you can see, they are still silver. I did clear coat them after I had um, gotten all the rust off. I will say that um, I accidentally left them out that same day, so they got a little moisture on them, which I think is what caused them to turn a little brown before I clear coated them, but I said, what the heck, and um, <laughs> I just cleared over them, and they've looked like this ever since.
this sort of side's a little, I guess, rustier looking. But um, I will say, make sure you clear coat them right away. Like I said, I kind of got busy and left them laying outside and they got dew on them. And um, as you can see, it kind of turned them a little brown. But I clear coated them and honestly, it just kind of matches the rest of the truck, which has got a lot of brown on it anyway. So yeah, the oxalic acid works pretty good. This hubcap here was actually on the bottom stack of the hubcaps. So it obviously didn't get much of any dew on it. So you can see it's still practically like it was when I um, first treated them. So it works pretty good in getting rid of rust and uh, making stuff that's painted look new again. Oxalic acid can also be used to clean things that are rusty that you don't want to damage the paint, such as this license plate. So we'll give this a soak for a while and see how it turns out. Now you can use the oxalic acid for other things. Um, I'll show you one more example uh, using the oxalic acid to clean a very rusty license plate. And like I said, you don't want to damage the paint that's already there. So the oxalic acid works really good in preventing that. It basically eats all the rust off and whatever paint is still there stays there. Of course, if the rust was so bad that it got through the paint, that's going to go away. But for the most part, you can save a lot of things to bring them back to um, looking decent for display purposes, mainly. Um, a lot of people use them for beer cans and stuff like that that they dig up with amazing results. So you can use it for practically anything that's painted. You want to save logos or, or lettering and things like that. Try the oxalic acid. So hopefully you enjoyed this video of this kind of scientific experiment. Um, I think it worked pretty good. Uh, and I would highly recommend it. So anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, get some oxalic acid for yourself. It's pretty simple. I got mine off Amazon. And um, you get different size bags. You don't have to get a jumbo bag if you don't want. And then you can use it for stuff that you got that you want to try to save. So check it out. Um, and anyways, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't. Uh, there's always more automotive related videos coming, so stay tuned.